Welcome back friends, this is Solomon Jagwe. I want you to take a quick listen at this guys, for a second, just take a quick listen. What would art be like without emotions? It would be empty. What would our lives be like without emotions? They would be empty of values. So uh, a famous uh, classical poet said, we hate and we love, can one tell me why? Catulus. Uh, science does not answer why questions. Science answers how questions. But the why question would be answered as follows. We have feelings because they tell us what supports our survival and what detracts from our survival. And I, I've been in this field now for half a century. And it's been a fairly lonely field. So what you've just had is from a new platform called Loopy. They've just released it. Uh, well, this is a, actually a paper, a research paper that they've just uh, released. It's, uh, it's an audio-only condition video diffusion model named Loopy, right? So essentially what they're doing is they're taking just audio to create like the semblance of facial animation and lip syncing, adding in the, like, the tongue movement, the one that you just watched, it's this one right here uh, with uh, Einstein. And what's amazing is how they're able to get like emotion from audio and create these like nuanced like performances, right? Like even the throat muscles, like when someone is breathing in like that, when you're catching your breath and you're trying to make a point, like this is all from just uh, audio. It uses one reference image which is a, a frame one single frame and then it creates a whole animation out of it oh my, i i think this is probably going to be the future of facial animation it's amazing what how they're able to take the audio and then derive something out of it now i'm not playing the audio for this i'm just wanting you to pay attention to the lip movement even with like uh this japanese art kind of you know references that's what it's able to do like that and then here, I think this is where the danger is because this is Tyler Swift, but they're able to take one picture of her and then make it sound like she's saying something, right? And now I don't know how they're able to garner like the appearance of all her like facial expressions, except if they have access to like videos of videos of uh, Tyler Swift talking, but that's how they're able to get her face to talk and sing and here's another one. I'm just going to mute that. And you can see how the, the muscles in the, th like the neck, the eyes, this is really, really impressive. And then they're able to take a statue. This is, you know, you know these guys, you've seen this statue somewhere online with uh, this uh, Japanese art in like a samurai looking character. But if I play it back, it's wrapping. But look at that, right? So they're giving it, of course, the inside of the, the mouth is a human form. It would be great if they had actually made even the inside of the mouth look like like maybe clay model. That would be amazing. But you can tell that they're really using a, a data set of like humans singing, talking some way, and then applying it. So you can see it here as well. Getting better and better. And then over here as well. Right. So, and then there are other instances. This one also, like a, a Japanese woman or Asian, a, a woman of Asian descent singing. It just shows you the, I guess, the power of just getting just one still image and then using audio to derive the facial animation, even just the turning of the head, the hair, the earrings, right? To be able to recreate all that. Uh, and also the dynamics are able to add to the, facial i mean the whole performance right look at the earrings that's what's amazing that the, the all of this is derived from audio but it's able to take into consideration how the facial performance is supposed to be the head movement the hair putting like dynamics hair dynamics to it and this is a painting to be able to almost do like a three-quarter of that head information that was missing and be able to you know, replace it with uh, some kind of pixel. But that's what's really cool. And then this one right here is what's I think that has impressed me the most. So this is a statue that is wrapping, right? 
I'm looking at like the lip movement, the way it has actually formed from just a still photo that's with mouth closed. No, no, they don't have an idea of what the tongue looks like or the teeth, but the way the character is able to talk and sing, the mannerisms, you know, it, it, it's like those nuances that you try to capture when you're creating facial animation is captured here. The emotion. I think that's what is really coming through because previous models, I mean, you could see the audio input and you are missing you like the emotion part of it. But here the eyes, like the little eye darts, the eyebrow rises, raises a little here and there, and then the muscles of the neck, right? It's a statue, you can tell this was like a statue material, but the initial photo was a reference of a statue, but seeing it's uh, animated <laughs> is really, really amazing. And let me see what else is here. So we, we saw this one. Yeah. So again, I think they've reached, if you want to reach out to them, here's the email of the person. If you're curious, if you want to, if you have even qualms or concerned about ethics, ethics they've provided a, a contact information. So you'll be able to hear from them and get feedback from them. Uh, but the research is amazing to see how far we're coming in terms of facial animation. And you can see the paper here, like how it's all processing all this. Amazing what you can do with uh, physics, <laughs> you know, and math to be able to achieve this. So anyway, guys, that's what I wanted to share with you that there's this amazing new, uh, it's like, it's called audio driven portrait avatar with long term motion dependency. That's how they're defining it. But uh, that's what I wanted to share with you. Isn't that amazing that uh, you're able to take just audio and then be able to recreate the emotion behind it. Now, it would be great to actually compare the original person who is speaking and to see how well the AI is able to interpolate and capture those performances from that uh, the actor himself or herself. Yeah. So <laughs> what a day to be alive. Thank you so much, guys, for joining me. I kindly pray that you sp you spare a minute to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're alerted when I uh, post a new video. And I'm always praying for you guys. Stay safe. Much love. Dare to dream big. And may we continue to look up and use these technologies to tell our, our stories authentically. This one is not yet available. But it will be interesting once it becomes available to see what parameters we have, or even if you have to pay for it. All right. Say so bye for now.